hey, my sleep schedule's bad. It is 9 a.m. and I'm just now getting done editing a video. If I go to sleep now, I'll wake up at like 5 p.m. So I'm going to take the opportunity and try to stay awake till tonight to try to reset my sleep schedule. Wish me luck. Promoting obesity is what it takes to make other fat people feel hot. Obviously, I'm going to do that. So yes, I am promoting obesity. Stay mad. Thank you so much. Someone else do this and wanted to give it a try. This is what 5'6 and 235 pounds looks like. Your turn. I don't know how many goddamn times I'm gonna have to say this, but skinny does not mean pretty and fat does not mean ugly. So when I say I'm fat, your response should not be, no, you're beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. I'm fat and I'm beautiful. All right, I can be both. Thank you very much. You can stop hating the fat on your body. All you have to do is stop hating fat people. We were taught this. This is not a natural thing. Look at art. We have known fat bodies are beautiful throughout all time. It is just very recently we have been taught fat is not beautiful because it serves the interests of racism, ableism, and capitalism. We were taught to think those things. So we can teach ourselves to think something else. One way I'm doing it is that I follow a lot of fat creators. And when they come up on my For You page, I give them a heart. And I tell myself, they are beautiful. This is what beauty looks like. Because first of all, it's true. Flesh is sexy. Bodies are beautiful. The diversity of human experience is beautiful. And the only people who don't want us to believe that are the people who want our money and to control. The reason why people call things cringy is, is because they are so devastated that they can't express that level of vulnerability. That you're just like letting yourself be so deeply earnest about like whatever joke you're making or whatever feeling that you're expressing. And by them saying that it's cringy, they know that they're hitting you in a vulnerable place. Sure, Jan. And this is the way that people get, like take themselves out of the revolution, right? Because you have to have earnestness and imagination in order to be revolutionary, right? Oh my god, I could talk about this forever. I really could. All you ladies pop your fupa like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies pop your fupa like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. I've always wanted to talk about this. A lot of fat men are extremely fat phobic. To the point where it's literally repulsive. The amount of times I've heard a fat guy call a fat girl a big bitch like he is not one is astronomical to me. Not to mention the fact that their bodies are generally more accepted in society than fat women's are. If a fat man says that he plays a sport, nobody's going to doubt him. If I say I play a sport, they're going to be like, what the fuck do you play? And that's personally why I think that fat men have never had a body positivity movement. Because their bodies have always been accepted. But they are also some of the biggest perpetuators of fat phobia towards fat women. And it makes it very hard for me to have sympathy towards them, especially when they get on here talking about what they go through, because they would put a woman in the same position with no hesitation. I love me a thick linebacker looking man, look like he'll knock a man down about me. We look real cute together. Fat people deserve basic respect. Breathe if you agree. If you're not breathing right now, keep it that way. If you're fat, stay. If you're a girl, stay. If you're a gay, stay. If you're a gay, stay. If you're bi, stay. Everyone else is probably gone by now. Okay. Go cute. These pants are kind of big, but. Wait. Look how cute my vest is. Imagine it's cold outside, right? Then you have to go get the snow off of your car. Do you need, um, do you need, um, something? If you're a fat person who is not trying to lose weight, I love you. Keep it up. I know it's hard and people suck, but I love you. I made a video earlier about, um, how 
long-term weight loss is um, pretty much impossible to achieve. And that video is gaining traction, which um, leads me to assume that there's going to be some not great comments on there pretty soon. But there's already some that I'm not loving. So I'm going to take this moment to just like set in stone right here right now. I don't want weight loss advice. I don't want it in my comments. I don't want it directed at me or anyone else for that matter. There are plenty of other places to get that kind of information. I don't want it here. I need to protect my own health and my own sanity on this app. I do not want diet advice. I do not need diet advice. I don't want to lose weight. I don't need to lose weight. Simple as that. Here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism. As always, if you haven't read this book, go do that. The main thing to understand is that for the last 300-ish years, white folks have been marketing fatness as a black trait. And this is regardless of whether or not black people individually were actually fat. That was irrelevant. The message they spread was that black women specifically were ravenous and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. On the flip side, thinness was marketed as a white trait. Again, regardless of whether or not individual white people were actually thin, that was irrelevant. The idea was that white women specifically were refined and restrained, and this led them to having delicate, thin bodies. Over the years, these messages have become more subtle, but even today, they are still very prevalent in conversations around race, health, capitalism, and poverty. I started a GoFundMe. I need to get out of my house. I've needed out for years now. I have been physically and verbally threatened, intimidated. My parents talking about how they're going to have to bury me next because of my weight that I'm a burden on the entire family, that I make everyone's lives worse. Back when my cat was alive, they were threatening to kill my cat. They deface my things, throw away my things. I constantly hear them talking shit about me. I need to get out. I've been too scared to ask for help. The amount of debilitating anxiety and depression like I have from living here. I cannot bathe, cook, do laundry without verbal beration. They monitor my toilet paper usage, constantly mocking me and my education. The link is in my bio. Please boost this. I know it's a lot of money, but we have a lot of debt from COVID and unemployment. Please boost this, share this, donate. I need out.